So what's the deal? I heard that like a pooping is like a very like traumatic experience for sloths. <laughs> yeah, so these guys poop about once a week. Um, and when they do, it's like a big pile of chocolate chips. <laughs> oh. Alright. <laughs> now do they, ha I heard that they have some kind of like microbiome on their furs typically? Yeah. Like so algae and... Yeah, so in the wild, these guys um, can develop like mossy patches on their stomach. Um, because of the water um, from the rain, and these guys stand very or sit very still, so it kind of just like develops a nice mossy ecosystem for them. Um, but when it rains, you see how their hair comes to a nice point all, all over the place. So when it rains, it kind of just washes it all off. But sometimes if they don't get clean, then they can just rub their something on like a branch or something, and it cleans it right off. Someone else said that BB is rather large for the type of sloth that she yeah, she is, she's a big girl. <laughs> These guys are both two toe sloths. They're both the same. Let me see if I can wake her up. So, um, I noticed you have like a mister in here, like a humidifier. I assume because they're, they, they like a humid atmosphere. Yeah, so we got two humidifiers on each side, and then we have like a sprinkler system going throughout. They're so cute. <laughs> Wait, what is this liquid? It's just water. Yeah, so it's easier for them. It helps them swallow better, um, and it also keeps them hydrated. Um, these guys don't typically drink out of water bowls, so they get all their moisture through humidity, rain, and um, like water retained in all the vegetables. Since I heard that there are types of sloths inside two and three trucks, what? Types of um, not necessarily sure. I do know what you're talking about. There's like subcategories yeah. of each. Um, I'm not sure what these are. Um, they're just brown coated. What is that that you're feeding her? What is um, so he's eating a parsnip right now. A what? A parsnip? Oh, yeah, parsnip. He loves oh. parsnips. Parsnips, all right. I was like, oh, it's brown. I'm like, what is that? Or like a tan color. <laughs> yeah, um, so we just started feeding him this recently just to see if he would take it, and he ended up loving it. So these guys, we've been just feeding them vegetables like we normally do, so like squash, um, cucumbers, all that fun stuff. And we got it from one of our food orders and gave it to him and he liked it. What about Phoebe? on the other hand, she doesn't like it. And she also doesn't like romaine lettuce. Awesome. So now if you want, you can give her a little pet on the back. Yeah, give her a little scritch. Very gently. Nice. Yeah. He has um, his old little doggy bed. Uh, so he was in another enclosure before we got both of them. Um, so he had like a nice little box and he put a doggy bed in it. And he wouldn't leave the doggy bed, so he just like carried him on it. <laughs> and that's why you can see he kind of has like um, bed head on his butt. Yeah. Because he just sleeps in it all the time. So these guys both get a hefty breakfast and hefty dinner, um, and then we feed them about twice an hour with guests, like little snacks. Like these are little snacks. So Hi. Hi. Hello. Oh, you're um, coming so right towards me, aren't you? Hi there. Yeah, so they eat the same same things. It's just in a smaller amount from their snacks. So you want to? Yeah, you want to? Oh, you want to eat this camera, don't you? Very gently. Yeah, you want to <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're gonna wait until he grabs it. Awesome, good job. Yeah, so Flash just turned to three, and Phoebe is just over four. How long do they live? So in captivity, um, they could be between twenty-five and thirty years. Huh? So pretty, pretty long. How do you feel about all this beezer? I like it. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to give it a scratch? Well, or just yeah. yeah. Hey, you want to give it a scratch? Go for it. I just want to be gentle, not to shake him too much. Yeah, I want the dude to fall. I guess I should at least do it once. Oh, uh, yeah. How long could a sloth's hair grow? <laughs> uh, so their hair is actually pretty cool. Um, they don't shed, and they won't grow any longer than that. Really? Yeah. That's actually really awesome. He takes it so delicately. Yeah. I, I wish Rayla would take 
snacks that delicately sometimes. I know, I like yeah, He's really good with people. Do you have like babies in reserve in the back or anything like? <laughs> um, so not really in reserve. Um, we do get some, we're getting baby prairie dogs. We're holding for our Georgia location. So one of our Georgia locations is opening soon. So we get um, like babies from other locations and we kind of like hold them for other locations. Um, and then, you know, if any animal here has kids, then we obviously take care of them and raise them. Well, that's such a cute animal, especially in person. Yeah, not a lot of people get to see us walk in person. Sure, you gotta go to like Costa Rica and even then. Yeah, even then, you're like, you don't even go up to them. They're like high on right. trees. You don't get to pet one. <laughs>